This is uh, quick cooking barley. It's cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some barley in there. Trust me, it gives it a really cool texture. All right, next thing I need to do is cut up, get out these leftovers here. Pick apart at my chicken. Get it off the bone, because this is all on the bone still. So. like taking like meat off of a bone. I don't know, there's just kind of <laughs> something barbaric about that. You know, not like using utensils to do it. It's kind of cool. This maybe sounds a little bit more medieval. Oh, cameraman <laughs> found the wine. Woohoo. Like I said, I recommend a whoop whoop. Whoop 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 whoop. We're gonna have to name this batch of chili the whoop whoop chili. <laughs> Alright, that's. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I'll clean that up later. <laughs> if your chicken sticks to the wall, it's ready for cooking. <laughs> I really don't want to use the skin on this chicken, so I'm going to toss that too. I think everybody should handle their food. It's so much fun. <laughs> It's still boiling. Wild rice takes quite a long time to cook, people. There is no such thing as quick cooking wild rice. And if there is, it's a lie. You just can't do it. And I'm just getting more of this skin off this chicken. And then I just decide I'll just... <laughs> oh, I hate that. Little thing on the, uh, the parsnip's nose. Yeah, parsnip's nose. You English people out there. Stir that in. I didn't stir in that barley, so I should probably do that, huh? Oops. God, I'm messy. worry about adding is our wild rice and we're going to just keep this on kind of a low setting and this is a great thing that you can do in the crock pot so this is kind of turning into more of a southwestern chicken wild rice kind of a thing put that salt southwestern chipotle stuff in there now what I'm going to do I washed it. Alright, my 
wild rice is starting to crack open. It's starting to get to how I like it. Give it probably about another five to ten minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to put a cover on this and let it cook. I'm going to clean off my pot a little bit because it's really messy. nasty stuff that I threw in here. Now I'm going to pick out the stuff that's organic that I can take out and put in my compost bin because, hey, you know, my garlic is growing. So I'm just going to take everything and kind of put it in the bag for now. Onion sphincter. told me that you don't want to recycle this chicken skin. Alright. Do the skin. Okay, now follow me and I'll take you to my compost bin and you can see how to compost your own your own stuff. Earlier this year, you guys, way at the beginning of the year, my compost bin was up to here. No kidding. In the past four months, it's already composted down that far. I'm just going to take this crap and just... Put it in there and let it rot. Next year, I'll use it in my garden. <laughs> Alright, let's go back in the house. See, you can't recycle the plastic back there at all. So I hope you enjoyed our little venture to the compost bin. And now we're going back in the house. Oh, come on. I'll hold the door for you. Ow. <laughs> There's our audience participant again. <laughs> All right, that was that was our trip to the compost bin. Check this out, guys. It's not it's not working. Of course, it would work. It wouldn't work on my. On my watch, it's not working. It's not closing. It's on there good enough. Now we're going to strain our wild rice. Look at all that wild rice. Mmm, goodness. And, you know, earlier I was talking about, you know, ex different kinds of things you can mix in with your chili. I was talking about you could put do, put beef in there or, you know, you could even use leftover turkey instead of chicken if you really wanted to. Um, I don't really quite recommend pork, but somewhere in the world I have a feeling that that spam would, you know, there's something about Spam though, I think you'd have to like grind it up really good or something in order to put it in your chili. Because I've seen Spam before and Spam when it comes out of a can is like a brick of slimy, weird, I don't know. I, I, I refuse to look at the ingredients of Spam. And I'm not going to make Spam burgers, but I did bring out the Spam today to show you that you may use Spam in your chili if you choose to. My audience is laughing, my cameraman is laughing, I'm so glad everybody's... I hope you out there are laughing too. And now basically we're just going to let this go ahead and 
meld itself together and let it simmer for a while and let it do its thing and then we'll come back and we'll give it another taste test later on see if it's still spicy and yummy and tasty and if not then we can always add more spices to it to make it spicier you can also put Tabasco sauce in here or Louisiana hot sauce whatever you want in there to really really spice it up um, this is pretty mild I, I admit it I'm a wuss um, so this is a mild chili recipe alright so we're gonna let this cook for a while and I'm gonna clean up and I don't think you guys really want to see that on cam so we'll turn that off <laughs> We'll be back in a bit. Okay, I've been, I have to admit, I, I forgot an ingredient. And that ingredient, I showed you my other garlic, right? And how it was growing. Duh. I didn't add the new garlic. So we have to go back because we missed a step. Before that, I'm going to have a little more. Whoop, whoop. That's probably why I forgot the garlic. I didn't use the tomato either. I, you know, I showed you guys a big tomato too. But I don't think I'm going to use my big tomato this time. You can use fresh tomatoes if you want to, but I'm actually going to go ahead and save this for another time. But the garlic is important. You can't have chili without garlic. So I'm just going to take a few cloves here, just, just, just a couple. And that same guy who, who tells you how to to do the onion thing. Well, he also recommends, you know, beating on your garlic a little bit to get the, get the skins off. And, and I watched his show and he uses this really cool thing that he uses, but I don't have one of them, so I found something else. Found one of these <laughs> things. Wow! <laughs> Dude, that worked really good. Wow! <gasps> Look at that! It works just the same! Let's see, check that out. Boy, that's really mashed up. Cool. I, it's like you don't even have to cut it. Let's get our cutting board back over here. This is bad because I haven't even washed it yet, but that's alright because everything's going in the same dish. Ooh, it smells so yummy. So we got all our garlic stuff off. Let's go, go ahead and cut the chops off them garlics. Fresh garlic. We'll just put some of that right in there. And our spoon. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks again. Get that in there and get that all cooking. Like I said, I've got this on kind of a low setting because I don't want to boil it. I just want all those flavors to to get married and mingle and party along in there. So, can we get a close-up on this cameraman and show everybody just how delicious this is looking with all this these ingredients? We've got our chicken, we've got our great northern beans. Sometimes I put in kidney beans too, but I had that other can of chili beans, so I just use that instead. And normally, my chili is a lot thicker, and that's usually because I have another can of beans that I usually put in, but I'm not doing that this time. Because I added the wine. <laughs> so this is our whooped up chili. Alright. Everything's mixing. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning the kitchen up and... We'll let this do its thing for a while. So we'll come back to it and check on it in a little bit. Hello, we're back. We're going to check on our chili because it should be almost ready to eat. So, and I fired my cameraman. At least for this part, anyway. So here we go. We're checking on our chili. Ooh, as you can see there, it looks all steamy in the cover. Let's take our cover off. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Ah, I can see all the whoop, 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 okay. So I 
just straight up make sure there's some more and it looks like we're ready to serve it up so let's go ahead and serve up our chile. You guys, that is good. Whoop whoop chili. Made by Nightingale. You saw it here first. Oh, yummy. That is a good batch.